For someone who loves photography, I always thought Hokkaido was the most beautiful place. At least if you could handle the cold. This was my first time back in over two years, but I always find myself wanting to return. And this time around, I wanted to focus more on simply filming the mood of this northern part of Japan. On my second day in Hokkaido, it was gonna snow all night. So on this day, I spent about six to seven hours shooting every single moment possible. I think my fingers and my toes almost froze off along with my ears, but at the same time, I barely noticed I was too busy shooting. It was just one of those days that I felt like I got lost in the art form. And only after my cameras were out of batteries, I realized how cold and miserable it actually was. By 11 p.m. I was totally exhausted, so I ditched the heavy bag and just went out again with the Fuji X100V. I'll be back in Hokkaido later, but I decided to take a little bit of a detour. The New Year's holidays in Japan tend to be more boring than even my worst YouTube videos. So I decided to eat the cost of another flight and head down to Tokyo for the next few days. In Japan, nobody cares that the year is changing, except for foreigners in Shibuya. But almost everywhere else, people don't celebrate and in fact, they take time off and go see their families, leaving the streets quite empty once again. It was time to head back to Hokkaido where I would meet my girlfriend and then the more intense part of the trip would begin. The first stop was gonna be Otaru. We had a long day of travel ahead of us as we were about to embark on a journey across Hokkaido all the way to the easternmost capital of Kushiro. It was snowing the whole day which made it a very scenic train ride.
Kushiro is a port city that not that many people really visit that often, which made it kind of more interesting and exciting to explore, because we don't really know what to expect. I gotta be honest, daytime here looked awful, so I don't mind the fact that the sun sets about 4.30pm this time of winter. Despite having spent all day exploring, I think my own favorite shots of the night actually came from our hotel room, which just happened to have this awesome lighting. So we did a quick cinematic portrait shoot in our hotel room. Our two days in Kushiro were just dry and cold. Snow would have added a lot. Regardless, it was an interesting visit, and I might be back at some point in the future. After a long journey and a couple of problems trying to find a rental car, we were ready to head back on the road again next morning. We made a couple of stops on the way to check out some local towns. And then things got real interesting with the weather.
was going to be a day full of snow, so I decided to head out into the main part of the city and explore with my future film X100V. But like usual, the better shooting opportunities came later that night. And for some reason I decided to shoot more stills photos on this particular day. Perhaps because I'd been focusing so much on video that I kind of started to miss photography for a little bit. At this point I've been freezing myself in the snow for so many consecutive days that I've just about had enough but of course once I saw this vending machine from the window we just had to stop to take a couple more shots. The following morning was time to head back to the airport. It was supposed to be a bright sunny day according to the forecast, which to me is quite boring, at least from a shooting perspective. But of course, the weather turns into a massive snowstorm just 20 minutes into our journey. But on the bright side at least, got one more chance to take some more depressing cool moody photos. To be honest, I was afraid that we might miss our flight, but at the same time, I never lost faith in the driver. Out of all the couple hundred photos that I took on this car ride, these few stand out as the favorites. They're almost like paintings in the windshield. And they reminded me why I still really do love photography, even though I've been spending a lot more time taking videos and filmmaking in the recent times. It's just the ability to freeze a single moment that is so challenging and so fun when it comes to photography. Certain scenes just look better when frozen into a single moment, when compressed into a single frame. But the ability to choose this single decisive moment really is a journey of a lifetime that is very difficult to perfect precisely because of the limitations. Anyway, our journey ends on that note. I hope it inspired you to take more photos or even take a trip somewhere. Thanks for watching and see you next time.